the I am is taking care of everything else, not God, not angelic counsels or anything else, but the I am, your I am, is doing everything. Everything. You may not be able to perceive it because you have an expectation coming from a limited human perspective. You may not understand, but the I am is doing everything. It's just for you to be aware and to allow. Allowing means absolute opening to yourself, no matter what. So we're going to do. We're going to take twelve minutes to do some allowing. I know it's not new, but it's important right now. So let's have the house lights down. Let's put on some music, and let's really allow. Wide out, courageous allowing. You know, I, I just can't say it enough, my dear friends. I cannot say it enough. This human mind body composition identity is not going to do the enlightenment. You are, you are going down a very rough and dead end path if you think it is. It's natural, yes, it's natural to revert back to that from time to time, and that's when I come along and remind you. But that human aspect of you isn't going to do it. It doesn't know how to. It doesn't have the expansiveness to do it, and it also shouldn't be held responsible. My God, when, when I was just a mere mortal, I didn't know how to do it. I couldn't figure it out. It wasn't about being good or doing things right, which I, I thought it was for a while. Walking that straight and narrow path, that doesn't work. And yet, so many of you try so hard. It's, it hurts me sometimes to see your efforting into enlightenment. So let's stop it. I want you to notice in this next month kind of a fun homework. I want you to either go someplace physically where there's uh, spiritual people or religious people, or if you don't live in a location that allows you to do that, just go on the internet to spiritual or religious websites. And I want you to see how much effort there is in those um, practices. And not to make a judgment, but I want you to see how hard they're working at it and, and how the leadership is making their members, their followers, work at it too. And then I want you to look at yourself, how hard you've been making it on you. It's not your responsibility. Kind of weird, but it's not. You're only being asked to make a choice and then just to be aware. I mean, just be aware of the changes that are going on. Be aware of the shifts that are taking place within you. But stop trying to figure it out. This is called allowing. It's not the human's responsibility to uh, open up into the other aspects or the other realities of self. It's not. It's not your job to try to figure out enlightenment. It's not. You're just being asked to allow, allow you. I am. There's this thing called charisma. It's that light 
within, the radiance. In that radiance, there is things like knowingness and compassion. There's things like realization and integration. And this light of the charisma is always shining. It's always there. You're just being asked to allow it. You don't have to create the charisma. Well, let me put it a different way. You already did. You don't have to try to attain some high spiritual, lofty, transcendental self. You can't. You cannot. But it's already there. It's already there. You're just being asked to allow it. That's all. You're just being asked to receive it. Be open to it. But you know, you can't do it if you think you're the one that has to figure it all out. You simply cannot. When you're taking that burden on your human self, you become so obsessed and preoccupied, so distracted, that what's right there will not be seen. That the charisma, that that light won't even be noticed because you're so busy. The human self is so busy trying to figure out enlightenment. You could say, in a way, that it was a Dear John month for a lot of you. Things that, um, well, a deep level of frustration, lack of hope. I can tell you, I can tell John this very simple thing. Stop trying to do your enlightenment. It's the human. A human perception and human limitations that are trying to figure it all out, and you'll simply burn yourself up. What can you do? What can you do as a human? Allow. Not Jesus, not God, not Buddha, not anything else. Allow yourself. Take a good deep breath with that. There are many, many, many facets of yourself and expressions of yourself which are here right now, which go far beyond anything that well that the human mind could even imagine. So you don't. You don't try to. You simply allow. There are things called enlightenment and the divine that the human cannot possibly manufacture or force or command, but you can allow. Sometimes in the allowing, That means that life is going to have different twists and turns of what the human expected. But this human who's trying so hard to be enlightened has an expectation of what would come next. What comes next 
is truly part of your God algorithm, your divine algorithm, but it may not be consistent with, it may be in conflict with what you call your human algorithm. Humans just being asked to allow this. The human might have thought he or she was going to be some grand spiritual teacher in this lifetime, and it just hasn't even come close. But that was a very human expectation. Now, dear human, you're just being asked to allow. It's like receiving yourself, but not a self that is limited by you, by the human. You're being asked to receive all that you are, but it may be in contradiction to what the human expected. Can you allow that? Can you allow that there might be a lot more than just trying to sand off the fine edges of your human life to make it a little bit more cushy? And that other things are happening right now. That may make the human a bit uncomfortable. I go back to the very basic analogy of the the butterfly and the caterpillar. It's so it's so true that even when the caterpillar looked up in the sky and saw this beautiful butterfly and said, Someday I'd like to be like that. Caterpillar did not have the capabilities as the caterpillar to make it so. And caterpillar tried and tried and tried to be the butterfly, tried to paste wings on its back, tried to cut off some of its legs, and still couldn't be the butterfly and got very, very frustrated, thought, oh, this butterfly dreaming is stupid. It's kind of the same of what's happening with so many. You're trying to put divine angel wings on your back, on your human back, and it just doesn't work. It wasn't until that caterpillar stopped trying, stopped efforting so much, and simply allowed the butterfly that was already there simply allowed that, that it then realized it was actually both. It was both. At the same time, it was the caterpillar and it was the butterfly. That's the part that's always left out from that story, because it didn't go from just being the caterpillar and then become the butterfly. It was actually both. That's exactly what's happening with you. You're not going to go from being human to being divine. You'll be both, and a lot more. Please stop trying so hard from the human perspective. It's kind of your easy ticket here today. It says you don't have to work so hard at it anymore. Just allow. Allow what? Well, that's allowing the I am. But allowing also means letting go of the expectations of what happens next and how it happens. You just allow it. It's one of the simplest things to do. But like I said before when I was talking about contradictions, it would be one of the hardest and the most challenging. It would be the simplest 
and it could be one of the most challenging just to allow. About 83% of you are going to leave here maybe feeling a little better for a while, and then you're going to go back tomorrow and wake up in the morning and once again start trying to do enlightenment, like the caterpillar trying to paste the butterfly wings on its back. It's not going to work. You're going to get frustrated and depressed. You're going to wear yourself out. going to lose hope, but then something will go off within you, like a bell ringing, maybe a siren. You should say, stop for a moment. I don't have to do this. The human does not have to do this. All I need to do is allow. And you take a very good, deep breath and just go about your life however you want it to be. So, good. Glad we got somewhere today. Glad we got somewhere. Let's take a good, deep breath and ah, it should be actually refreshing. Uh, that the responsibility is not on you, uh, really refreshing. I mean, not on the limited you. It's happening right now. It's the things are moving, things are changing. It should be really truly refreshing that all you need to do is allow. <laughs>